welcome back again. Um, hopefully this review is being helpful for you. So just to clarify what we have done, we brought in um, our letter into our project panel. Uh, we did a file import on that and we have created a solid background, which is here. So this is what you're seeing. Um, just to clarify where these guys came from, when you are, have an item here, you can click this arrow to expand or close that. And this is your transform panel, all right? Um, you guys will notice mode. Um, we have blending mode, so just like in Photoshop or Illustrator, we have blending modes. Um, we'll touch on that later, but I just wanna make sure you know where this is. Um, transform, again, very, very important. We're gonna to start to create some transformations of this letter, and I'll show you um, how powerful that can be. So just a quick note about After Effects. After Effects works with what is called a keyframe. And a keyframe indicates in the timeline here, you guys will see when we start creating them, a keyframe is gonna indicate um, what is happening at each point within this timeline. So if you want to schedule or choreograph events, you're gonna do that through keyframes. And anytime you make changes with an object or you want it to change appearance or you want it to move, um, you can do that through keyframes and you have a lot of control over them and that allows After Effects to be a powerful tool, okay? Um, so one thing I want to start with is scale. So scale is obviously going to make our letter change in size. And one important thing to notice is um, this is constrained proportions, so you want to make sure that's always turned on. Uh, because that's going to make sure that this scales uh, proportionally. Um, if you don't want it to scale proportionally, if you want to do something funky with the scale, you can turn it off. Okay, um, It's at 100%. So one thing that I want to start with is I want to make sure that this is actually where I can see it. So I'm going to scale it down. There we go. There's my letter. All right. So it's going to start there. So one thing I want to do first is this is my starting point and I want to create a keyframe. So to create a keyframe right by scale, so you guys will notice these all have different timers so you can turn them on or off to create a keyframe. All right. Turn that on and you guys will notice um, here this little dot that is my keyframe. So if I want this for example um, the scale of it, if I want it to um, kind of go back and forth and come in and out or give it make it appear that it's coming kind of in and out of the screen I am going to make sure that I keyframe each of those motions to capture that all right so I'm gonna hover over to my one second or in between my one second I'm gonna click and drag my time indicator Okay, 49%, yes. Click and drag my time indicator. All right, there we go. So with my time indicator, I can hop to uh, my time relay there, current time, and I want to hop over to one and I'm going to create an action. So anytime that you make a change, it's going to create a new keyframe for you. So let's take this down to five, five percent. And you guys notice it will scale proportionally. So it goes super tiny. And then I'm going to jump over to this guy here and I'm going to bring it up to hundred percent, which is going to make it huge. Okay, and I'm going to jump back over to three. I'm going to scale it down to 10%. So again, it's kind of bobbing back and forth. Um, and then four. I'm going to do 50%. And you guys notice this is proportional, so it's keeping um, the height and the width the same, so it's not going to stretch. And then I'm going to do five. All the way down there here. Click. 
All right, so let's start there. And you guys can see as you drag your playhead, what's happening. If you hit spacebar, that's actually going to play this. Woo, and it's happening super fast, super, super fast. Um, if I wanted to change my frame rate, um, or not my frame rate, but how long this animation actually is, um, you guys will notice that depending on the time, that's gonna make this move slower or faster. That's kind of crazy. Um, but you guys see that because that is happening so fast, it's adding a lot of motion to it. Um, one fun thing, um, if you want to make this smoother, if you right click, um, you see right click on a keyframe. So these are, um, this is a keyframe and it tells you your settings. So the little diamonds, that's a keyframe that indicates there's a change happening. So if you right click, um, keyframe assistant, let's say easy ease, and that's going to change what your keyframe looks like. So let's go ahead and apply that to the first two. And you guys will notice Easy Ease is gonna make this animate a little smoother. So let's click your, make sure your playhead's at the beginning, click your space bar. And it's happening so fast, it's kinda hard to see that that's actually smoother. But if you do it, just go ahead and do it to all of them. Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease, Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease. It's gonna make that move just a little, just a little smoother. Um, it's not gonna be as jittery. I mean, yes, it's still very jittery because it's flickering, um, but that is how you create keyframes. And so, just to clarify, there, what we did is we, in our transform menu, we create keyframes with the scale um, attribute. We can actually combine these. So, if we can want to create a keyframe for rotation, we can have it going in and out and rotating on what sort of effect we wanted, but I just want to demonstrate keyframes and how to use that transform panel. All right, um, so we're going to come back and I'm going to go over a couple other things, but keyframes um, using your transform panel, using those settings, um, scale in particular, is what we worked with here. Okay.